Yo, Gabby Thomas Trevor number eight, possibly. Maybe nine. I think it's eight. Maybe it's eight. I don't know. Coffee Time Trevor number eight. What's going on this week? Um, we were out of town most of the week. So, um, and we were like, I did a 50 mile bike ride. We went to Chicago for three days. So, I really haven't been a lot of home. Um, but a few cool things happened. A few cool things happened. So, we went to a Cubs game in Chicago. I met this guy who does web development, um, just sitting beside me at a Cubs game. Um, I talked to him about it. He made it sound like, so obviously, I mean, he was impressed. He said a lot of good things. He was a very nice guy. But he said a few things to keep in mind when making websites. And he said also, I told him about my issues is just landing people. My issues is landing people. I think I got pretty good sites. I know how to do everything. Um, the issue is just landing people. So he said, like, yeah, man, I mean, you're just going to have to. It's as simple as you're just going to have to either, like, walk up to 30 businesses a day or just contact a bunch of people. Now, I can't really do that on my driver's license yet. But what I can do is I can cold call double or triple that. You know what I mean? So that's, today I'm filming a can't, uh, call, cold calling 100 businesses in a day. I started my lead list, but for the most part of it, I'm just going to go Google Maps, find a business that doesn't have a website, and call them up saying, do you want a website? Um, that's what's going on. That's one thing interesting that happened this week. I met that guy. Con I connected with him on LinkedIn. He, he really was a cool guy. And then um, another thing that happened was I met a guy online. It's this, this kid. He just turned 16, so he was just 15 not too long ago. And he's bringing in 25k a month just through drop shipping. It's like whoa, that was crazy to me. He said he's buying a BMW, like, in the next few days, or he's kind of going through the papers right now. But um, he's making 25k a month. He started doing drop shipping. Well, I think there's a lot behind that because. He said he started learning and kind of getting into dropshipping in May. That's about the same time that I started Imhoff Media and started really learning web development. That said, now he's bringing in 25k a month, which is fucking crazy. But at the same time, he's selling soap bars holder he's no he's selling a hold a speaker holder on a bathtub and he's doing that through drop shipping which is basically a process of finding a product and a manufacturer online which is super easy a thousand websites for that um finding that uploading that product in your own page on like amazon or whatever and then run a bunch of ads that go to that now I might have been able to do that. I mean, it's definitely a lot easier than really starting a business because you're not really even starting a business. You're just kind of being an online salesman in a way. I probably could have done that and made a ton of money right now, especially because the amount of time I've put in is probably three times the amount of time that that kid has put in. And I've made negative money. He's made 25K a month. Now, there's no shame. I don't think there's any shame to that. He's not, he's not done anything unethical. And he's making a shitload of money, which is, I mean, the kid, I was telling the kid, like, I'm, that is beyond, like, I'm super impressed. And, like, that's super cool. But, um, he's bringing in 25k a month. And the only thing is, like, I don't know. I think I could have done online sales calls or something like that for a different business. And made a fair share of money by now. I could have just went to Target or any local place and work for them um and gotten you know 15 dollars an hour which would be a few k by now but that kind of defeats the whole purpose like the purpose of me of starting imhoff media and creating websites and why i stopped doing smma was because i don't know i just i got like i learned that it's really important and great when you can create something 
And if I was able to create a, a place where a small business, like a restaurant, like let's say that your aunt started a restaurant. Okay, let's say your aunt started a restaurant. Uh, if she wanted a website, what is she going to do? She's either going to go to an agency or she's going to go to Squarespace. Now, you can go to Squarespace and if you put a lot of effort in, it's probably like six hours worth and you'll make a decent looking website, but you won't have a ton of functionality. And their, their, their website things are kind of weird because like, um, what's it called? When you want to switch to mobile and tablet and stuff like that and switch, uh, what's it called? switch orientations and devices that gets funky um seo is not there mm, if you want to market you have no idea how to do that you don't know when you're making your own website you don't know like the thought process behind what a consumer is looking at there's a lot you don't know when you create it by yourself and if you want to work with an agency every single agency is going to absolutely shred you like they are going to rip your pockets for because they're going to cost I mean when you're a new restaurant and the agency's charging 1 to 2 grand which is on the lower end of what they charge that's a shitload of money that you could be using to support your staff you know to get more staff to uh build more stuff to have more tables to have more supply and I don't think it has to be that way those are the two options those are the two main options right now I think there's a third option that would be incredibly useful, which would be an agency with a monthly retainer. They have a monthly subscription with a pretty low starter, like 150 to 300 starter, and then you pay like $30 a month. If you're starting the business, you probably, most likely, unless for some reason you already have a bunch of money, you probably want to have that because there's not a lot of front end risk there's if you if your business is going well then i mean it's thirty dollars a month and if your business ends if you want to quit your business you're like okay this isn't for me this industry is not for me you just stop paying there's no force there's no force in you into it and you're gonna have like if i can keep the price at 150 to 300 in the early and keep the monthly subscription relatively low with 30, maybe 40 at one point and 50. Um, if I can keep it low like that while still scaling, then you, I mean, we'll be able to, we'll be able to like, I think have some very high expertise on websites. The only issue I can see in the long term is, I don't know if I'm gonna offer marketing. I, I prefer not to because ads are pretty lame prefer content over ads like Elon Musk has thoroughly talked about and I thoroughly agree with it um I'm ranting at this point but I think I mean this isn't for this is kind of a journal of a video so anyways um so yeah that's what's going on so today I'm gonna be cold calling 100 places my brother has two football games but I'll find a way to do it um I haven't been home this week. What have I done this week? I contacted, holy shit. I cold called a few places and emailed a few places. I don't want to put my head by her butt, but um, I had one dude be like, yeah, man, I really need a website. Uh, I'll check it out and I'll probably call you back in two to three days. What I think might have happened is I, I got a number from Ohio because I was in Chicago when I was at the, I was at Lollapalooza, Chicago. And I got a number that called me. I picked it up for one second, didn't really hear anything, and then hung up. And I think that might have been him, and I might have lost him. But anyways, I offered to do it for free for him. And I don't really know. I mean, if if I offered someone free and they wanted to do it, I would do it right now. But I would rather just charge them because they, um, I mean, that's a lot to give them for free. But, yeah, that's what's going on, so... Um, something that's been going on also is I've been like trying to find excuses not to contact people just because contacting people is very uncomfortable. So I've been trying to find excuses to not like, okay, well maybe this website's not good enough. Maybe I got to change this website. Maybe, uh, maybe I got to create a profile, maybe create a Google profile, maybe create a blah, 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 LinkedIn. And obviously I know 
that stuff, whatever, do that eventually. But realistically, the most important thing is to pick up that phone and call people or message people or email people. Same, They're all the same thing, just some are more effective than others. And I kind of realized that and seeing like that kid making 25K a month, seeing Chicago, that guy made it seem like just call, start calling people, man. Your websites are good enough to start. Because once I realistically, the only way for Imhoff Media to grow would be if I landed somebody. I could tweak these websites for years and I wouldn't, it wouldn't make a difference. But if I landed two to three people, first of all, it pays for all the subscriptions. It allows me to have enough money to comfortably play for the subscriptions, but as well buy a new, if I could buy a keyboard and a mouse, that would be so nice for this computer because I use my website. It's, I don't know, you don't need to know about that. But it would help a lot. Um, that's the second. Third of all, by having a client, I can actually see what do clients want. I don't really know what clients exactly want. I mean, I know relatively, but I don't know into the details. What would a restaurant owner or a business owner in general expect in their website creation? What do they want in their website creation? What do they care about? What don't they care about? Do they care about their brand? Like having a cool design more or do they care about the amount of people that come in from the website more or a little bit of both or like what do the i don't really know that stuff yet because that only comes really with experience i could watch youtube of people who had restaurant clients and see their opinion but realistically i'd be better off just landing somebody and then i can figure out all the details of legal stuff blah 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 blah, blah content and some other important things to note is I will have testimony if I do that. I'll have testimony. I'll have real world experience, which may seem like it might not matter, but the confidence that comes with that and the, yeah, the confidence that would come with working with somebody would help me get more people. I mean, it's obviously, ugh, it's obviously the next move. The next move is to land two to three people. Because, because of all the reasons I just said. So that's gonna wrap it up for Coffee Time Trevor. Today I have an energy drink, a very unhealthy alternative, but hey man, it doesn't matter. The point is I gotta call people, that's what matters. There's things that matter a little bit, and that is uh, eating really healthy, but there's things that kind of matters right now, but what matters more than that is fucking cold calling. So that's what I'm gonna do. I cold call. I don't start cold calling till 11 because that's when most restaurants open. Anything before that, I'm usually getting a lot of unanswered phones or sleepy, tired employees that want nothing to do with me. So, yep, I'm gonna look at my leads. Uh, create a few more rows on my lead list and then give them a call and i'm recording that video of contacting 100 businesses a day i hope you guys are having a good day because i i might um i guess bye bye